Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going to dig into transmission tunes for the ZF8 and why they are a requirement after getting tuned. Let's go. So firstly I need to dig into how our cars operate. Our gas pedal isn't connected to the throttle body. When you press the throttle pedal the gas pedal, it sends a torque request to the ECU. The ECU looks at what it can do to satisfy that torque request and will do what it can to make that torque. So the ECU and the TCU talk all the time. So the TCU can see the torque request and the torque made by the engine. It's not a dyno, it's trusting that the ECU's calibration are real torque numbers. So the, tr the TCU also has tables and limits just like the ECU. So say you've had your car tuned. The ECU will make more torque now, but what your TCU was programmed for was the lower torque that it used to make on stock programming. So, you're up, so <laughs> you upgraded your other components to improve power output or to be able to handle more power. The transmission is not something to be ignored on that list. And so I've seen logs on people who went all the way to dual pulley, throttle body, and even beyond, and they were quick for sure. But they had a lot left on the table as far as their like quarter mile times, for instance. So you can see in the log, every shift the transmission wanted to make, it talked to the ECU, the ECU had to pull a huge amount of power out of the car, the transmission was able to make that shift because then it was back to the stock torque level, is what it was calibrated for, then <laughs> completed the shift, the ECU was able to ramp back, ramp that power back in. So the stock transmission has been calibrated so that the clutches can handle that stock torque. The transmission tuners are tuners out there have made calibrations to address the increased torque. The TCU doesn't know when the torque is underreported by the ECU, which is done by some tuners, or when the engine is making more torque than stock programming. The clutches need to be tuned so that they'll be ready for that increased torque. Otherwise, a driver risks the clutches spinning as the TCU either slows down the car, like what I had mentioned earlier, with a torque cut, or the TCU doing what it can to finally catch the clutch and stop it from spinning. So this means that when done properly, the clutches shouldn't slip and be waiting for the TCU to apply more pressure to stop the slippage and catch it. So the teen tuned TCU already has proper shift pressures in its tables. So with the increased torque is applied to the transmission, it won't slip, it won't have premature wear, and it'll be able to apply that power efficiently to the tires. So another added benefit of transmission tune on these cars is the higher allowed red line on the shifts after the ECU has been tuned for also the higher red line. That's important. The ECU has to be done first. So being that we're a supercharged vehicle, we make more power the more we rev our engine out to a limit. So that's around 72, 7300 RPM. Past that, diminishing results have been found by myself, Brian Performance Builds on Instagram, and Shane Horning at Supercharged Audi Sport, world record A6. So something that on our ZF8 cars is also very cool is our digital stall converter. So on older muscle cars, a mod would be done to change out the stall converter for something with like a 2800, 3000 RPM stall converter for drag racing. Using HP tuners, a tuner can change the stall and update a TCU file for a driver after a power modification change. So if you're spinning on launch, work with your custom transmission tuner that's if they're using HP tuners. I know Integrated Engineering has multiple stall files to be flashed. 034 is in the process of finishing their TCU program for the ZF8, which will be for all ZF8 Audis that they support with ECU tunes as well. So they call it advanced launch control, where the driver can change the stall RPM with the cruise control stock. Very cool programming, currently only for DSG cars. The nice thing about a transmission tune is it can really change up how each of the comfort, automatic, and dynamic modes behave and feel. Most people like to have auto set to a little bit more lively for every day. And dynamic and manual are often set to be like the really spicy or like full race modes for when that's wanted. So thank you very much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the other videos in the series. I hope you like this one. Stay tuned. Peace.